Hello and welcome everyone to this new video on NetBackup and the topic for today is NetBackup Enterprise Virtual Client Licensing Model. As you may or may not be aware of, in within NetBackup there are different ways you can license uh, the software. One of the most commonly used method is a la carte or traditional method in which you pick and choose depending upon what your needs are. You will pick your agents, pick your options according to your environment. Then there is also platform based complete edition which is based on uh, front end terabyte so regardless of uh, uh, what kind of environment you have as long as you are within that front end terabyte of data that you are trying to protect you will be compliant and includes all the agents as well as option. The third category which uh, Veritas and NetBackup has added to the licensing model and I find it very interesting and actually it's very good. Uh, from the cost and the kind of features and options that you get is NEVC or commonly called Net Backup Enterprise Virtual Client. So what does NEVC include? So the NEVC includes Net Backup Enterprise Server License for you. That also includes the Net Backup Client, the Application and Database Pack, as well as DPO or commonly called Data Protection Optimization, which in case you want to have a license in traditional way, you have to go with the front end terabyte. So when you purchase an NEVC license, you get all these options. And actually, this is a very powerful tool, I will say, and a very good model that they have included within the licensing model. Let me try to explain you with an example because I know that sometimes licensing can be a bit tricky. So let me just try to explain you. And uh, what I'm going to do is I will compare this one with a traditional method so that you have a better understanding. Okay, so let me just uh, take an example. So consider that I'm running this physical box which is, uh, which is virtualized, say either Hyper-V or uh, uh, VMware. And on this machine, I'm running a couple of VMs. So say I'm running these three VMs on this one. And it has, uh, say, SQL. It has Exchange, it has Active Directory, right? I also one thing that I want to point out is that any VC license is basically targeted for the virtualized environment. So if you have an environment which is virtualized, it is a great way of licensing that because it's very cost effective. But I want to explain you uh, how it's gonna differ when you uh, license within the traditional method and then I will also show you how it's going to be within the NEVC license. So say this is your uh, traditional method and you want to license this in a regular way. So what you have to do is that, so if you're familiar with the net backup, for this environment you will be needing the enterprise server license uh, because uh, uh, it is virtualized and then you also need the uh, enterprise client license. Uh, because as you know that uh, the enterprise client cannot work with the server license within NetBackup, you need to have an enterprise server license. Then the other thing that you need is you need application and database pack. Basically what this will do is that it will protect all the application and databases that you're running in these VMs. So basically in this one I have three, so regardless of how many apps and database you're running, this license will cover you for all that. And if you want uh, and if you want to use the main and the most important features within NetBackup such as uh, storage lifecycle policies and everything then you need to go with the DPO license and you for that you need to find out how much front end terabyte you're trying to protect on these uh, on these machines right so say for example it has 20 front end terabytes so will be needing the 20 times uh, the license within that particular tier for DPO then you need application and database pack for your all the application database you need an enterprise client license because this is virtualized and obviously you need an enterprise server and that is not it uh, because the uh, net backup licensing model is based on the tier level so you need to find out how many physical CPUs are on this particular hypervisor so say for example uh, it has uh, uh, four CPUs right 
so in that case you need to go and look in the chart and see what is the appropriate tier for that so say for example if it's running uh, hyper v then it's going to be the uh, uh, windows based and then you need to find out the tier and corresponding tier you need to code that enterprise license same thing for the enterprise client and application and database and as i mentioned you need to have front end terabyte for the dpo now in case of any vc so same keeping the same thing in mind if you want to license this via the NEVC model, right? So as I told you, the NEC, NEVC licensing model will include all these things. Let me just quickly show you. That includes a net backup enterprise server license, includes a net backup client license. You get the application database pack and you need, and you also get a DPO, uh, which is based on the data protection optimization licensing model. So say for example, you have four physical CPUs. Now that's the only thing you need to know how many physical CPUs are running on that virtualized server. So you'll be needing four times the NEVC license. And this will give you all these things. You don't need to worry about the tier levels on these particular one. With this NEVC license, all these options are included in that one, whether it's enterprise server, enterprise client, app and database, DPO license, all those things are included for this specific virtualized server only. Now, there is also some confusion on the part that, so when you get, you have four, so you get four times the N, uh, enterprise server license within this one, within the NEVC, you get four times the enterprise client within NEVC four times for application and database and DPO it doesn't matter how much front-end terabyte you can have so in case you add one more virtualized server in the environment can I use the enterprise client license on this one the answer is no you cannot other than the enterprise server, what are the options that you get with the NEVC license, such as enterprise client, application and database, or DPO license? It cannot be carried forward to any other virtualized or, say, a physical server. It only ties you up with the virtualized server and the number of CPUs that you have uh, licensed for that particular model. But in case you say that uh, you add another virtualized server, so in case I add the second virtualized server and uh, if I have multiple VMs on this one so can I use the NVC license for this one yes you can do that you just need to find out how many CPUs you have so say for example you get two CPUs so you just code the two times the NVC license for that particular one so that is you're gonna get uh, license for NVC and in case you add a physical server you know, in case you're thinking of adding a physical server in your environment, you start with the virtualized server. So can you pick and choose from the traditional method? Absolutely, yes, you can do that. That is the beauty of the NVC license. In case I add, say, for example, uh, a Linux-based server, so I can license that from the uh, traditional method so that that is also protected within the net backup. So pretty, pretty powerful model that they have uh, uh, included within NEVC and I'm sure in case you have a virtualized environment and you are starting up your company and you need something what you call a uh, enterprise class uh, uh, net backup uh, and all the powerful features that come with the net backup uh, you can use this model it's very cost effective and can be very handy for you and it will also save you some money so I hope you found this video useful in case you have any question I've also made a lot of videos on the other features uh, within the net backup. You can go through my channel and I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.